today we're going to be talking about related facts. What is another word for related facts? Right, act family. So I want you to listen to this story to see what is missing from this family. Sit flat, please. Flat. Thank you. Are you ready? Elizabeth has 12 pens. Some of the pens have blue ink. The same number of pens have black ink. How many pens does she have in each color? So how many pens does Elizabeth have? No, how many did I say? How many did I say? She has 12 pins. Some are blue and some are black. But these are the same number. So if we're using our families, what two numbers put together equals 12? Six. You are right. It is six and six. Does six plus six equal 12? Yeah. Are they both the same number? Yeah. You are exactly right. What we are going to do today with fact families is we are going to have this triangle. See this triangle? And it's going to have the families in them. So I only have these three numbers. Who can write a, sen a number sentence using these three numbers? Go ahead and come on up here and write your number sentence. Make sure you see a number sentence in your brain while she's writing. Using those three numbers that I just wrote. Very good. Is that a fact family? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, this one is tricky because when I do fact families, I have to have how many in my family? Four. Four. I have to have four in my family. But two of them have to be? My Okay, two of them have to be addition. And then two of them have to be subtraction. Okay, so we are going to do another addition one. But what's going to be tricky about this? What's, what's going to be tricky about it? No, you don't have to do a minus. What's going to be tricky about it? Um, Okay, I'm glad you said that. When we are adding, can I put my biggest number first? No. no. When we add, my biggest number has to go where? Last. Last. Okay. Very good. So when I add, my biggest number goes last. When I subtract, my biggest number goes first. What's going to be tricky about this? Sir, you need to pay attention. 
what's going to be tricky about this? Um, because you can't use the same hydration sentence you already knew. That's true, you can't. And it's going to look the same, but it's not necessarily going to be the same. It does when you subtract. Guys, what we're going to do is we are going to switch these. But guess what happens? It's still the same, and that's okay. We really did switch them, but it looks the same because they are the same number. Okay, so we'll have 6 plus 6 again. I really did switch them, but we just can't tell. Okay, so it's going to be the same with my subtraction. 12 is my biggest number. Oh, who can help me? Who knows what 12 minus 6 equals? Everyone should know because it's my family. Yes, I think. What is my answer, first grade? Six. You are exactly right. Now, first grade, I'm going to switch these two. Okay. What number do I have to do first? <coughs> the top one, my biggest one. What is 12 minus 6 equal first six. grade? Six. Okay. I want you to get out your top colorful page and I want you to draw a box up top and then two boxes down below that. Do you have a question? What's your question? Okay. Yes, you do have to make the lines to connect them. Okay, I want you, we are going to use this addition fact to put into our boxes. Okay, first grade? So, first grade, I want you to look up here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. When I add, where's my biggest number? Where's my biggest number? At the end. At the end. So, which box is my 10 going to go in? The top. The top, thank you. The top number is going to be my biggest number. So now I have my eight. Where is my eight going to go? Which box? Okay. Bottom. One of the bottom ones. It doesn't matter. Okay. So what number is missing for us to be able to complete our family? Two. You are right. It is two. It's on extra math. Okay. So, <laughs> it is on extra math. You're right. So, in this box, 8 plus 2 equals 10. So, I can use these three numbers to make my families. Can I do another addition problem? Sure. What do I have to start with, though? The biggest number. When I, I'm doing addition. You don't have to start with the smallest, but what did we already write? We already wrote eight, so what number do we have to start with? We have to start with two plus what? I have to put my eight next. Equals good. And when I subtract first grade, what do I have to start with? First grade? The You're right. The biggest number, which is 10. 10 minus what? 10 minus what? 8. Okay, let's do 10 minus 8 equals what first grade? 2. Great. And then I have to start my next one with the biggest number, 
type in minus, why do I have to do the two? Because I've already done the eight. So what's 10 minus two, first grade? Eight. You are exactly right. So do you see how I can take these three numbers, excuse me, these three numbers to make my whole family? Yeah. Cool, huh? Turn your paper over. That's what we're going to do today. You have to find the missing number and then use these three numbers to build your family. Does everyone see what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. You may begin.